What up, what up, guys? Hope you guys are doing great. I want to talk to you guys about costal chondritis, TET syndrome. I've been having this, dealing with this whole injury for like almost two years already. Well, since, yeah, since 2018, four. So, yeah, pretty much over tw two years I've been dealing with this fucking injury. It sucks. But, you know, I found many ways how you can cure it. Well, not cure it, but ease the flare ups. I still have flare-ups here and there, but did that, did that like a year ago. I improved so much. Uh, I've been, you know, I got my vitamin D supplements. has been helping me out 5,000 units a day because my vitamin D was very deficient. Unfortunately, you know, because, you know, being out here in New York, but it's always changing, seasons always changing because we're not going outside as much. So my vitamin D levels were in the 20s. It's supposed to be past 30s or above 40. Mine was in the lower 20s, so yeah, it was bad. So, um, that happened. This is why I had it, costal chondritis, because my vitamin D was deficient and I was lifting improperly at the gym. So, you know, pretty everybody gets the misunderstanding how what what's the cause of it, man. Pretty much it starts in the back. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen that doctor, Steve August. He pretty much explains everything in detail on what causes costal chondritis in his videos. It all starts in the back area, your lower back area. Like, you know, when you're putting too much tension on it and when you're, when you're lifting in the gym and you're not lifting properly, and whatever it is, box boxes at work or lifting at the gym, whatever, if you're not lifting pr properly, those, the, the joints in the back tight, lock up. So, which causes inflammation in your ribs areas, in your, your ribs throughout the back, and it goes through the sternum, through the costal area. So this is why you get flare-ups and you think you're going to have a heart attack and that. That's just the inflammation. It's trapped, it's locked. But he invented, Steve August invented this back pod. I've been using it. Don't worry, don't mind the, it's been beat up, yeah. Don't mind the freaking the surroundings. But this object has helped me out big time, man. You, I lay, lay on it for a good seven minutes or eight tops. Uh, I haven't been consistent with it within last year. I haven't been consistent. I was doing it every day last year. 2019, I've been doing it a lot, but it wasn't, you know, and it eased off the pain. It really worked. You know, you got to stay consistent on it. If you're not consistent with it, you know, then you're going to start getting flare-ups again. So this is what happened. I wasn't consistent with it, and I started getting flare-ups again. So I've been using it now. And I've been taking my supplements, my vitamin D, 5,000 units a day, you know, trying to eat, and to eat fruits, anti-inflammatory foods, you know what I'm saying, that will ease off the inflammation in your body, like strawberries, berries, avocado, almonds, and you know, and make sure you check your vitamin D levels at the doctor, you know what I'm saying, make sure, try to get it up as much as you can. That's the number one reason why you get injury so quick and costal chondritis quick because your bones are so weak. It's the, you're deficient. You have a low vitamin D. So get that checked out ASAP. And, and I recommend you buy this. Invest into the back pod. You know, saying this will help you out big time. Be consistent with it. Uh, your health is very important after in your 20s and 30s. So make sure you're on top of it. And I just do a lot of stretching. I'm still going to the gym. You know, I'm just taking care of myself, man. I'm just trying to get this out of the way. I'm trying to get my vitamin D levels as much as up as I can. You know, I'm doing what I got to do. So far, thank God, I've been good. You know, I've been, you know, using this, taking my vitamin D pills every day. So I'm not getting flare-ups like that. When it rains and snows, yeah, that's when I flare up. You know what I'm saying? But I'm getting used to it. I'm getting immune to it. So... Little by little, I would, you know, I'm fighting this, man. I'm fighting this costal chondritis BS, man. And it's, I'm winning. That's the battle. I'm not 100%, but I will be. You know, it's up to me. And it's up to you guys to improve yourselves too, man. I just show you many methods on to cure yourself. on to, on to Not to cure, but at least fight the costal chondritis. But it's all up to you to take the action and do actually put in the work. You know what I'm saying? But check your vitamin D levels too, guys. Make sure you go to the doctors and check your levels, see where they're at. And, you know, make sure you go to the gym and lift properly, please. Don't be like me, fucking not lifting properly and getting hurt. And this is why I have 
Osteochondritis happens and any injury happens. So make sure you lift right and just be smart, man. Use common sense. All right, peace.